everybody, Jay Mannion here at the MPC Photo Gym, and the champ is here. Your brand new Masters Olympia Classic Physique Champion. Alex Cambronero. Okay, funny story is when he came to do his Road to the Olympia last year, Kamal and I were trying to talk him into doing it. Yeah, we were, <laughs> we were talking about, uh, we were sure, both of us, not even Kamal or myself, and... We actually were like just, uh, uh, you know, touching bases and, um, and see how it's going to come. And, and we came together. So we bought, we talk about it. We talk about it. Oh, let's do it together. We went together and, and the result was like, you know, the way we expect actually. So happy about it. All right. So now you're focused on the Olympia. Focus on the Olympia. Yes. I, I always been focused on the Olympia. I take my, you know, whatever I have to do and, and, and the highest level I can possibly do it. So I do the same as, as, as approach by, by the Masters Olympia, but always focusing to, to the other Olympia, right? So I've been doing that for eight years. I always work hard into doing it and I have the, the respect that it deserves um, to be in the biggest station in the, in the entire world. So... Yeah, we, we're going to do the same thing, the same approach, the same push, and the same discipline to do in the next one. Yeah, I think one. I think the one thing that came out of the Masters Olympia was that people are going, oh, I didn't realize they were Masters with everybody that won in that contest. Yeah, um, well, they didn't even know that I was a Master. It was like, uh, he's 40. Yeah, but yeah, um, we were we were joking because I was like, people are gonna notice that I'm not 30 years old, <laughs> <laughs> right? So they find out that I'm not 30, I'm 40. So yeah, but um, also it gets uh, a lot of proud to all the guys that are competing. They have the age and they still competing with the young guys, but not only being next to them and and you know, but actually competing. Uh, um, being competitor next to the youngest guys and, um, you know, some, some of those guys were winning uh, pro shows before the, the Olympia, women that placing second at the Olympia and competing at the Masters. So you get so much pride and so much respect for the people that are doing Masters because it's still competitors, it's still at highest level, and the Masters just bring that and, and, and cement. But everybody, you know, most people knows that is the high, the level that the masters guys or the guys that still competing because there's another thing is that they're still competing, but they don't have the spotlight that they deserve because of the age separation, right? But and this one, they know exactly the spotlight to them, and then they translate that to the Olympia and make it competitive, and then people can realize and actually. Um, 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 you know, uh, um, know how, how good these people are. Like some guys were 50 years old. There was a guy that is a blind guy competing. Nobody knows until they say it because his body doesn't say anything about it. But all these stories on the comps in Masters Olympia that you might see in the Olympia for so many reasons. Reasons because there's a lot of people that are not, uh, they're, they're rookies. Uh, the master, there's not many rookies, so people know what they do doing, uh, right? So uh, you can have uh, different stories about it and, um, you know, enjoy uh, the people that have been doing this for so long in the same spot. Yeah. So, and it's interesting because most of the people that won the Masters Olympia are actually going to do the Olympia. Yes. Yeah. They, they were winning shows. There was Kamal, obviously. Um, um, R.E.S. Safai, the one, the men's position. Exactly. So these guys are winning. Uh, Jessica Padilla, this is, she's of a top three best, uh, uh, um, 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 uh, figured in the world. Okay. So, um, I came from the Arnold. That was the last competition I did, um, was the Arnold before the Masters Olympia. And I placed third, you know, and, um, it was a, a big, big, um, uh, uh, a hard competition because I have the guys that plays fifth. I have the guy that plays second. I have the guy that plays third. I have the guy that plays fifth competing at the show. And by the way, they're older 
um, the younger is than 30 years old. They're like 26 and 27 years old. So we were able to compete against those guys, to be competitive next to them, very competitive next to them, and some others that we actually beat. Uh, not in only myself, but these guys, um, uh, Mike Charles and um, the, uh, Kamal and Jessica, and then these names. So uh, actually it goes into the um, the respect that the Masters Olympia is bringing. So we're doing something that I have so much respect and so much competition. Yeah, it was funny because I would hear people go, oh my God, I didn't think so-and-so could be in this contest. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a dream come true for so many people. Because at the end of the day, you have um, people that have a different age. They're very competitive, but they don't have, because of the age uh, separation, you already have families. You, 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 you cross a little of the line out of, of, the, of the industry, right? But bringing the Masters Olympia, which is uh, you separate from, like I said, the rookies, the, new, the, the newies, and all these people that might have more time. It sounds, for a professional, it doesn't sound as, you know, that's good. But yes, they're pros, but they don't have the time that we have when we were younger. We don't have, uh, 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 we have families. We have so many things happened. And uh, so, and, and, and the, the fact that you can go and do in the Olympia is, is really hard for them. Now the master is different. You take all these things uh, uh, away. So they focus on one competition that is actually for them. And I mean, it's, 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 it's a price that you pay. And also the, you pay back to these guys that have been doing the same thing for so many years. And they're the stars like uh, uh, Darren Charles, for example. Which is like, if you imagine that Darren Charles is, 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 is one of the, I think is the uh, most winning in, in classic physique. So those are guys that you have. Plus he's a legend. Yeah, plus he's a legend, <laughs> which you, you, you want to see those guys. And um, for me, I mean, especially for me, just to be next to them. Uh, and it sounds, it, it, most people like, you know, he's not uh, uh, honest and like, I'm very honest. I was like, I'm competing with this guy. You know, uh, Darren was, for me, it was uh, a good experience to know that I can share a, a stage with, with Darren because when I was growing up and I was watching the competition, I see the guy, one of my favorite guys. Uh, um, Listen, he was classic before there was classic. He was classic before, he was the classic yeah. guy, you know, and then probably, uh, uh, is one of the guys that embraced to do in the classic because of his structure, his physique was so unbelievable. You see people that I've ever seen Darren Charles, you have to go on, on YouTube and check this guy because was, that's why he's a legend because of that, right? So we pay back to these people. We bring in and we honor them, right? Honor them just being on stage, honor them doing their posing routines and doing all this stuff. So. And it's a, it's a great opportunity for all, all, everybody. And everybody was super happy. I was never expect that the people that was invited to the Masters Olympia had that reaction. The reaction of crying, the reaction of the entire society. There's some guys from other countries. They're the country itself that the entire country was celebrating that they were like just invited to this competition. So it's that big. He said, I, I didn't realize because... We, we have to be taking things for granted here in the United States. Um, we're going to, oh, we had a competition. That's fine. You got invited and people not, didn't even notice. But when you're going to Asia, when you're going to Africa, when you're going to the, the, to the Caribbean and then Latin America, it's a big deal because it's a smaller um, society, it's tighter society. So this is a big news for everybody. And I noticed that. I have the experience to talk to these people and see the reaction and how big is this for, for, the, for all of us. But these people experience in different ways because of well, how the country is celebrated. Yeah. So what kind of celebration are they having for you? Well, <laughs> I never say that either. Look, I've been doing so many shows, man. And um, I win in so many shows. Um. A place in the top five at the Olympia, top four at the Olympia. I've been uh, top six at the Olympia since uh, the starting classic. And um, 
winning the Arnold Classic, placing second at the Arnold, third at the Arnold. And then you see, you have a, a good career, but I had never celebrated any of that. Then from, uh, I have seven pro shows wins. I had never celebrated. And then it's, it's, and it's a culture that we have. It's just a win and then going back and they're ready for the Olympia, right? So um, again, we take it for granted. Um, and then I express that myself once that you punish yourself because it's, oh, nobody cares. So I'm not going to celebrate. I'm just going to grab my, my, and put it in my back and, and leave and wait for the Olympia and get ready for the Olympia, right? This one completely different because it humbling yourself, seeing how people see it and how respect and honor to doing this show, which we as, as Americans, we didn't even see it that way until we, we weren't there. And I, 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 I'm guilty on that. And I apologize because it's probably the, the, the I don't know, uh, it's some kind of um, uh, khaki way to, to do it, right? But no, no, no. You, you're humbling yourself. You're going like that. Oh, no, this is not just like we cannot take it for granted. It's a big deal. So we want the show. Um, I thought it was just like the other shows you just win or lose and you just go back and whatever, right? But the reaction of the people on, over there in Romania, it was super nice. Everybody recognized you. We went to the airport and everybody recognized you in the airport and congratulates you in the airport. Um, we went to, uh, we did, uh, uh, um, we went to uh, Germany. And right in the airport, and then people like, oh, this is Mr. Olympia. We're trying to explain, no, no, I'm not Mr. Olympia. I'm not that. Yeah, you are Mr. Olympia. <laughs> like, oh, well, yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> like, you know, but they recognize you. I never have that experience. Went to Miami, we got uh, stuck in the TSA or we're not Borders Patrol, and the people recognize me too. And I, oh, but this is, uh, you just won the, the Olympia, right? Or the Maggie was like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> he won. <laughs> like, um, oh, guys, go ahead. I didn't even stop us or yeah. no, nothing. It's just go there. And I was like, damn, this is, the, this is the first time that I have that feeling that people are celebrating, you know, an accomplishment right. that I have, right? And then they did that surprise in Costa Rica. It was a big surprise because I have family, my old friends, school friends, uh, neighborhood friends, and, 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 and even teachers and Everybody would show up to that uh, celebration, and um, I had never cried in, in, in a competition. If you if you see those videos with Arnold, which is was the, the my biggest moment in the sport, uh, the, the the fact that I you know my body or my brain put me into a crying mood <laughs> is not gonna happen. It's, it's not gonna happen. Um, Place in top of the top three or top four, sorry, in the Olympia. Also, it was a big, big accomplishment, but it, you, you don't feel that way. And now this one, the celebration and see how people were so happy for you. It was, it creates a different approach to me and, and it put me very sensible. And um, yeah, it's the first time that I cry and, um, and, and, and because of something that I do in the industry, really. So uh, and appreciate that for everybody that was there and, and celebrate me and honor that uh, accomplishment in my life and be part of my life. So we're very, very, very happy. Well, good. You deserve it. I mean, I mean, you have a big accomplishment there. Yes. Like, yeah. I mean, it's, 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 you're, you're the, the, you're the Olympia over 40. There's nobody over 40 years old that, that look better. Like uh, the rock says literally the best body in the world. Yeah. I, I, over 40. Well, uh, you guys are the best under 40. No, well, I am the best over 40. Yeah, yeah that's shit off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, oh, but yeah, happy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So taking this victory and everything into the Olympia, I mean, how's your mindset? My mindset is the same. Um, very competitive. I, I want to be competitor. And that's why I keep me doing this because I love to compete. You, uh, you know, I love to get prepared. I love the suffering. I enjoy and embrace the, you know, being uh, nervous. I, 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 being nervous is uh, uh, some people they can watch and avoid to be nervous and be scared and things like that. 
But for most people that I compete, they love that. I, I think we love to be in the pressure and the and to like stress and and and, and all that. And then with dab stab, you feel empty. So I don't want to feel empty in, 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 in any part of my life. And I can still doing this uh, my age, and I can still doing this after I've been competing. I just uh, I thank God for to have the opportunity to keep doing what I love. So. Same approach and do, I'm going all in. I always go with good condition because I put the, 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 the work on it. So good condition, um, um, fuller, um, and I, like I always do, you know. So that's the approach I'm going to have. Uh, like I, 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 I have to, um, from the beginning of the, of the year. Because remember last year, um, it was December, it was the Olympia. And I placed ninth at the Olympia. That was my worst place at the Olympia. And, but uh, uh, it was an, um, actually embraced me to, to continue doing. And I, okay, no, I'm not going to do this one and, and, and feel bad for the entire year. I'm going to the Arnold and I redeemed myself into the Arnold. And um, I, I, could, I, I did very well. I, I compete against those guys. Now they will separate from me. No, we were very close, and I placed third, uh, you know? So that th that was a redemption for me. And then a redemption to do in the, the master. So now I'm going back. Remember that I placed that place and the last one. So now I'm going, I, I, I have to redeem myself too, you know? Right. So very motivated to do it. Yeah, I mean, ab <clears throat> absolutely. I mean... It's, it's going to be interesting to watch all of the Masters Olympia champions in the Olympia. Yeah, I hope we can see uh, Kamal. I'm not sure that Kamal is doing the Olympia because I see him, uh, he was on the, um, in a trip and I took long in that trip. Um, but it will be very, very nice to see him and I see Jessica, how she's going to do. Uh, she's been active competing, so... Definitely, she's going to look well, great. Yeah, she just won the Texas Pro again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and she looks either the same or better every show. I'm looking at, like, was people starting going down like that, right? But another thing that, you, that we have, uh, Jan, and, and people that see it, and they're younger generation, right? If you continue to do it, um, most when you're young, you're doing a show, and it happens. You, the, 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 you know, the guys that have been doing, even competing with me, doing a show today, doing a show the next one, and the third show they look terrible. They doing one show, and the second show they just go on down. Your body doesn't support that. They, they, you just tired or whatever, right? But what you get, and you keep doing it, and you have that age, and you have the experience, you can get to a point that you doing shows. And actually get better. But, like, but at that age, yes, you get better. Just like it happens to me from the Olympia to the Arnold. I'm talking about the guy that I beat in the fourth place. It was like fifth at the Olympia. I was nine. And I was going down in two months or four weeks, um, six to seven weeks, something yeah, that's, like that. That's right? And going down to compete against that guy that just beat all the guys over there. And I'm older. I'm yeah. 10 years older than the guy, right? Probably more. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you do that? No, it's not genetics. Oh, but you have to do always the genetics have to do. It. Like, but it's the experience of how do you manage your preparation, you manage your body, your rec uh, recovering, your rest, and all this stuff. So you learn how to do it, and you can keep in doing it, you know? So just don't discourage yourself when you're going from one show to another because this is a skill. This is something that you learn, your body learn, you, you, you get used to it, and then once you dominate, you can go and do and, and, and different things. That works for everybody? No, because everybody have different life, different um, um, approach to rest and, 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 and the, um, you know, the up season. So that depends on how you have your up season and your lifestyle have to do a lot within. But if you have a, a organized lifestyle and a healthy uh, up season, you can do those things. You can do three shows. Uh, Jessica is proving that, that she can do five shows and even win them. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
So that's a good example. This example with me, like, oh, at your age, you're going to compete? Well, kids are 22 years old. At 25 years old, they're doing one show. They can't even get to the Olympia. They qualify, yes, but they didn't even get to the Olympia because, like, no, my body is not responding. My body. And we've been doing um, the Arnold and then the Olympia and then the Arnold again and then the Olympia and the other Olympia and the other Olympia. We're doing three, four, five shows in the year. How do you say, like, do, do we look b worse? No, we actually do better from one show to another. That's the experience and how you manage your off season and everything that you're doing and the process. Yeah. I mean, listen to what he's saying, everybody. Just pay attention because he had a lot of good information there. <laughs> well, we're trying. Yes, we got to get, we get a lot of experience and, and, and the process and we, but in my, in my, myself, I have um, luck. I was lucky enough to have good guidance and good friends and, and, and people supporting me. Not only in, in the, how they teaching you, because one of my job or the job of any athletes in this industry is how you're going to build your team around. And your team, I'm not talking about the five people around you all the time. No, no, no. Your team have to be even, I'm going to give you an example of you. Um, how do I get uh, uh, in a relationship with JN? Well, you be humble. Yeah, and, and, and how, how we, we met each other. I was humble enough and naive enough to like, what am I doing here? And, and I, you know, I wasn't you, acting like I know what am I doing because that's going to click on you and you're like, what do you think he's doing? Yeah. No, but if you're humble, like he don't know what he's doing, I'm going to help him. And we create a, 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 a relationship, but that relationship goes to a show. When I go into a show and I see your face and I see Debbie and I see Jim and I have relationship, my face change, my posture change, my confidence change, right? And then I have the, 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 the people from the, the tanning and I have the people from other companies that I have a good relationship. And then you build that thing because it's, it gives you support. They give you positive, uh, positive uh, thoughts and positive to you. And that energy creates you to be successful in that show. You have a good relationship with the all shares, with uh, the, the, uh, the judges and everybody. It's not that they give you anything. It's the positive environment that you create around you. So that's very important, and that's how we, we, we've been creating. I create just have the best coach, not the best coach because he's the, the one that knows everything. He's the one that have a good relationship with me. He's the, the guy that is going to wake up when he don't want to for anybody else, but um, Alex is so determined and so like I cannot fail him. In. You have to protect that. Once you break that, you're not going to have the coach waking up or even travel with you. Right. Travel with you. You're not like, I, I'm going with you, you know? Like, and that's something that uh, most coaches, I don't have the time. Like, no, but most have the time. Do you deserve that time? It's what you have to win, right? Um, and, and the people that are watching this, like, I'm, I'm here today in the MPC. And this is a big deal because you get invited to this, to, to this place. And it's, this is like the headquarters of the entire industry. And where you're going to get the feedback of the judges that is dealing or actually ruling the industry. How do you get there? The famous are not that famous as those, those guys on Instagram and Facebook. And not that. It's because of the relationship we create. So you create opportunities and you have open doors. And um, so once you get here, I'm going with a plan. I go on the plan. I'm like, oh, my back looks terrible. I'm like, no, it doesn't look terrible. Okay, I'm not going to pay attention to that. I'm going to pay attention to it. No, no, your leg. And, and who was here waiting for you when you came in? Uh, J, J, uh, Gene Mannion. Yes, Mr. Gene Mannion. Congratulations. Hey, yeah, the yeah. first thing that he said. And I, and I appreciate that. And he, he never forget about me. And um, he always have something nice to tell me. And I like support that I have since I started. I was a little kid when I started this. And Jim always have that um, uh, good attitude with me. And I receive him in, the, in a nice way. So like I said, when I go into the, to, to the competitions, I go with 
certain um, um, confidence. And, uh, you know, I feel positive in the entire environment. I feel friendly environment. I, you create the friendly environment. And in any in, in any show in every situation of those shows, so that's what we were creating, and that's the the result that we have. Though you know, so um, that's something that you have to work because most people is gonna ask you and ask me, what am I eat? What do I take? What well, what exercise that I'm doing? And then many of those guys look, you know, that how good they look. They look completely perfect. They got such a bad relationship with the industry. I'm not talking about bad relationship with this company. I'm not talking relationship with these uh, uh, judges. Or I'm talking about with the relationship you have with the entire industry. And this is, um, you know, your personality, your comments, your writing. All these aspects have to be like, you know, so very careful. Now, I don't care about this. Though. Do care. You have to care because every word that you say in right now, you they're going to read it later on. Like, oh, uh, well, the thing is, with it. now with social media, whatever you say or do lives on forever. It lives forever. Yeah. And then create, sometimes even create a, a, a profile or a personality that's not you. Just because you say two words that you shouldn't be say it. Well, I've been saying two. But it also protect you. But when you have a, a, a personality, and this personality is constantly like it's always your same personality. Once you make the mistake, people know who you are, right? So it, it's, that's that's what is important because it protects you actually when you put your like you actually uh, right. F <laughs> F top right. Yeah. So it protects you in every single. And people don't pay attention to that. Like, guys, you need to know how to create relationship in the industry for a long period of time, not for one year, not for two years. You'll get it forget in two years. In one year, you get forget. But you forget from one show to another, you know? So you work in that relationship, and they have to work. You have to move yourself in doing all this stuff. So right. we're happy to do it, by the way. It's part of the game, right? Yeah. And Piggybacking off that, do you want to give a shout out to anybody while you're here? I have uh, yeah, many, many people. Shout out to my coach, uh, Neil Hill, which it's, I, uh, Neil was um, in Japan when I was um, uh, 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 Romania. He flew from Japan to Germ um, for England and then Romania and all these crazy things, which is really hard for him. But he didn't want me to do it by myself. He wants to be there. He wants to tan in me. He, he, nobody tan me. He goes like, you know, yeah. put in the oil. He has to put the oil. And like, he's every, everything is there. And, and I have to tell them to leave the room when I'm eating because he, he wants to be in every meal, right? So Neil is the one in pushing me to like no other. So uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm very grateful to have Neil and my wife, Maggie, obviously, that yeah, everybody knows that every time that I talk, I talk about Maggie. But I also have, um, you know, the, the good friends around. Kamal has been supporting me a lot, you know, which is an, either in training and my business and, and by phone or anything, but like the small things that have been helping me. Um, he, he, he teach me a lot of being a, a champion. He is a true champion in and out of the sport. So, um, also, uh, I want to thank you to invite me and have the opportunity to express myself and, um, you know, put myself out there and people, they know what I, I feel about this competition and, and how I feel about the industry and um, the entire NPC family, um, uh, Tyler, uh, Mr. Manion, everybody that has been supporting us and, and supporting me, especially me, they, they've been supporting me since I started. And I did uh, Pittsburgh here. Actually, I did Pittsburgh. I got pro here at the, at the North American. So um, for all these people, I, I'm very grateful and thank you. All right. So if you want to see the champ in the Olympia and if you want to meet him at the at the Meet the Olympians, you've got to get to Orlando. Get to Orlando. There, if, if there's no excuse. If you live in any zone from Miami 
to Orlando, you have a train now, okay? So you just take the train to Orlando. Cheap, nice, comfortable. If not, just take, oh, by the way, get your tickets right now because they just flowing away. There, there are no tickets available. So trying to get whatever you can and don't wait too much because this is a big, big, big event. It's been growing every time, every year. So this one is gonna be even bigger than last year. And remember last year, it was very top sold out. So guys, please get your tickets now, okay? Yeah. And if you can't make it, worst case scenario, get the pay-per-view, right? That pay-per-view, yes. Um, and this is uh, what I have my entire family. They have the parties, their barbecues, and all this stuff set up. So that's a great idea for people that can get the train to Orlando. <laughs> yeah. All right. So J.M. Mannion. Alex Cambronero. Signing off for NPCNewsOnline.com. We hope to see you at the Olympia.